Team YouTube, we're back at it again with another video, and here we're doing another Try Not to Laugh Challenge. We're doing Season 11 of Family Guy Part 8 this time. And if you're a fan of Family Guy, you know how funny these videos can be. You know how funny uh, the show is. Grab some popcorn, sit back, get comfy, and we're going to see if we can keep a straight face today. And uh, Alright, so this is how it's going to go. We're all going to try to keep a straight face. We're going to watch a couple cutaway scenes. We're going to go to a little break in between. And boom, boom, bow. Yeah, that's how it's gonna be. All right? Yeah, sounds easy. But if you have trouble with it, let me know in the comment section below how many times you laughed throughout the video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Let's get started. Look, Chris, I'm sorry, but money's tight right now. I even had to take a second job as a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. This thing can pick up anything. Here's a little demonstration. I'll pour some wine, rub in some feces, and to top it off, some mustard mixed with feces. Tough stain, right? Oh, crap, I forgot the vacuum. She's working the champagne room. Follow me. Wagmire, you, uh, you ever been to Atlantic City before? Oh, once, about 20 years ago. Why? All right! That's disturbing. I really dodged a bullet there. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Ah, everybody makes mistakes. Even doctors. I say, forgot to say clear. Oh. Yes, you just never know what kind of rage some people have bottled up. Well, we all got anger, Chris. The important thing is finding a healthy way to channel it. For me, as you know, it's the family bath. You don't know long here. Tell I'm not angry anymore, you naked bunch of bitches! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Just like Inspector Gadget about that one night stand. Suzanne, we have to talk. Inspector Gadget? Someone has made contact with me. Someone from my past. And, well, long story short, Guatemalan son. I, uh, they were promised a single millionaire, but it's really just a bunch of horny squirrels in a rich guy suit. So, you made your money in business? Where's your room, handsome? Ugh. Guys, if I listen to you guys, I... Alright, how y'all doing so far, man? Y'all managed to keep a straight face so far? Let me know in the comment section below. Before we head into this next scene, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more hilarious content like this. And if you got any suggestions for trying not to laugh videos, uh, drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from y'all. Let's jump into the next part. Let's see if we can handle these. I never would have got that job as a seat filler for fetuses. Let's take a look at your baby, shall we? Hi. He'll be right back. He's in the bathroom. Oh, just thinking about it makes me all giddy. Like a group of women ordering dessert. And then we have a chocolate chocolate cake that's infused with chocolate, served with chocolate ice cream, and a molten chocolate topping. Oh, we'll have one of those. More like four of those with one spoon for me. <laughs> well, you should hear my prank phone calls. Hey, is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is. Are your doors unlocked? <laughs> Why? I don't know, they all look the same. Same. I was so desperate there for a while, I even tried a Jewish club. Ah, uh, you don't want to get involved with them religious groups. They believe in all kinds of weird stuff. If I believe in Jesus hard enough, I will not die. If I believe in Snake Jesus hard enough, he will die. If I believe in Tree Jesus hard enough, both of them will die. Yay! Thank you, Tree Jesus! I don't know, Joe. Sometimes the security's pretty lax. The last plane I was on got gay jacked. This plane's going to Miami! And he killing it. Of course, it's what he would have wanted. Listen, we all got to move. Right, who's killing her? Secret Service did on November 23rd, 1963. All right, guys, I know that yesterday was a rough one for us, but it's with great pride that I'm going to turn this zero into a one. All right! Nichols, you should go home and change. Wait a minute, maybe not, Frank. Oh, my goodness. Those are actually pretty tough. I'm not even going to count. Did y'all manage to keep it together? I, could, I couldn't keep it together at the start, but that was pretty funny. Comment how comment y'all score below. I mean, final round. Fight. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, final round. Let's get into these last little bit of cutaway scene. We'll see how it turns out. I think I just got an idea. Ah, glass in my face. Oh, crap. Now I forgot what it was. I got it. Yeah, son of a bitch. Try anything new today? Talk to anyone interesting? No, no, really. Oh, that beef bowl is wrecking me. My stomach feels like that time I had explosive diarrhea. Roundhouse. Knew I should have brought Peter instead of you. Oh, come on, you would have done that. That roundhouse. Got a terrible tale. I remember you used to say that for like a whole episode. That was all it was. Cards, Peter? No, I'm good. Maybe we should just let the clam go and, I don't know, spend more time with our families. Yeah, I can't. I just spent most of the time testing Chris to see if he's autistic. That's messed up. Not overly affectionate. That's messed up. Now, Brian, you've had quite a string of female guests spend the night lately. Yeah, Doing it's working. You should see the way I have to pick up chicks. Hi. <laughs> what? I'm doing the best I can. I'm not Nathaniel Hawthorne. 
Nathaniel, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to this one. Great for everyone. This is a phone yeah. operation. I can't do this. It pays two grand a week, sweetie. Oh my God. Brand of that type of money, I could buy pots and pans at William Sonoma. This is a very nice set. You must be a phone whore. You bet your sweet ass I am. Peter, that might be the worst idea anyone has ever had. Well, you're wrong there. The worst idea anyone ever had was silver bullets. Barbara Leibowitz's husband just bought her a diamond brooch. You know how he afforded that? He uses regular bullets. The History Channel presents Where in World War II is Waldo? Come on, can't you give that giraffe at home? Yeah, I was fine. You know, for every cell, they save a giraffe in the wild. Sorry, giraffes. They only bought one. Damn. Yeah, they returned it. What? Griffin. Oh, that's messed up. Congratulations, you are now a member. Oh my god, really? And to think yesterday I was just a guy at home eating catnip. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. He doesn't even talk. Well, he was living among wild animals for two months. And you know how impressionable your dad can be. What was the book? I, I miss it. Faith. We now return to Stabbed in the Butt, the only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. All right, Bradley, here's your question. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? Get him, guys! Stab him in the butt! It may have gambled away our plane tickets. Oh, oh my. How do you even do that? It's Vegas, Brian. You can gamble anything. I'd like to bet. Bro, I had a sword! A short sword! I'm sorry, sorry, I'm 31. How's it going here? Not great. I know what you mean. We just took a pounding at the craps table. Wow, I don't believe it. Hey, congratulations, buddy. You know, you're a guy. The only thing I ever won was an extra day of summer. Okay, Peter, one day. Yay! I saw what it looked like in a car window, and now I don't want to go. Yeah, look at all it's luxury. It's like being in a car. Almost got me. Enjoying the view? It's glorious, Edwin. Would you like another salad bowl of chocolate-covered oysters? Is that gay enough? And then some. This has been the gayest vacation I've ever had. I love smelling me on your breath. Oh, oh. Placed sleeping pills with Alka Seltzer. People are gonna miss me when I'm. <laughs> yeah, even schools more dangerous. The bullies have been so busy, they're outsourcing their bullying to India. Okay, do you stack up your underwear in the mirror? Yes. Okay, I want you to pull it up as high as you can. Oh, well, there goes my music career. I wonder if I can get my old job. Almost. It's faces at birthday parties. There you go, Timmy. Sir, you're gonna have to leave. You're just drawing penises with a sharpie on children's faces. I don't know how to draw a cat. God, I'm a childish, bro. I, don't, I guessed it, too. I guess that's what he was drawing on his face. I'm gonna be on TV. Did you kill the others? I shan't. You must. I'm gonna go talk to the statue in the basement. Did you kill the painting? Places at house. Oh, look at us, Brian. Frontier people. I feel like those miners who first struck gold in San Francisco. Oh my god, we did it! We struck gold! This is amazing! We're gonna be rich! Rich and gay? Come here. We now return to Bottom Chef. Daniel L., please pack your fudge and go. Fine! Oh, this is unbelievable! I haven't had this much fun since I hosted the Oscars! Good evening. I just want to say that I have the utmost respect for women everywhere. And also the Jews. Good night. No comment. Don't lay down easy like I did. New York can be pretty harsh, especially to outsiders. Hello, New York! That was a pretty good compilation. They're getting better as we go through the seasons, bro. Like, they improve on their jokes, like, a lot, I'm noticing. So, that's all for this one. Did you survive the challenge? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching. If you got any ideas for other Try Not to Laugh challenges, make sure you uh, drop it in the comment section below. Also, throw up a like to this video if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, keep laughing. Stay awesome. Peace.